Yeah, I mean, uh, absolutely thrilled, um, especially coming off the back end of uh, this this past season. Uh, hockey really became enjoyable again. Um, it all became uh, all about just in the room with the guys and, and, and on ice stuff was all we had to worry about. And, uh, you know, it was really enjoyable. And getting to that Nottingham final, um, you know, we lost out by one goal in the semis. So, you, you know, you always think uh, anything could have happened there. But uh, the guys gave a great account of himself. And, um, and when, I, when I was asked, uh, there was no question in my mind. Well, I've been with the club uh, since 1998. I'm not sure how many years that really equates to, but it's it seemed like an awful long time. So yeah, I mean, th there was never any, any question in my mind uh, a number of years back that uh, I would uh, really entertain the thought of going to another club. Um, and and uh, the, the Flyers have been very good to, to me and my family, um, you know, through a lot of good times and bad times as well. So um, the club means... Uh, an awful lot to me um, and uh, it's just kind of become you know really int intertwined in all aspects of my life so uh, to see this club doing well and, and to be a part of that uh, is really important to me um, so I think in this league uh, the way things are moving on it becomes increasingly more difficult to to run things uh, while you're out in the ice uh, so so that was that was a big help um, B um, you know, at 40, 41 years old, um, your head's still there and you, you're still thinking you can do it, but the body doesn't always respond. So I know any time that, uh, um, even last season after a heavy weekend, it would take me all week to recover. Whereas these guys, I mean, they're, they're bouncing around an hour after the game ready to get going. Um, but the leg's done well, the legs recovered well. It's a case of just building up the strength. Now it's a hundred percent recovered, uh, structurally. So I think what we'll, I'm pretty sure the plan will be that um, I can be short-term injury cover, uh, not long-term, short-term, um, and uh, just an extra body if we ever need it. Um, and I think I have to be real realistic about it. When you take a, when you take a year off, uh, and plus when we were in last place and the team was in its infancy, infancy in the elite league, uh, it was okay for me to, to take that season um, you know, to get yourself up to speed. And I think towards the end of the second season there, I, I had found uh, my legs and I was playing a lot better. Um, but the guys took the game to another level for us this season. And you can see when, when you got a uh, 25-year-old to a 32-year-old out there um, skating and playing each night, um, you know, that's that's really what we, we need if we're going to be successful in this league. So um, it's certainly a role as a head coach and uh, if I can help out. But I, I certainly wouldn't be taking any spots in the lineup if I felt or if we felt that it was going to uh, hinder our performance or, or take away from it. Well, I mean, uh, I think it's important. Uh, over the last three years, um, we built up a working relationship, uh, and I think it's working pretty good. Um, I'd mentioned before in interviews that uh, we both have our strengths, and I think we play well off each other. Um, it's a formula that seems to be working well for this club. Um, and, uh, you know, we're going to continue on with it. Um, we both do our own bits behind the scenes. And when it comes to on ice, uh, we generally meet all week um, and go over what's going to happen on the weekend. So we're both on the exact same page. Um, and uh, uh, it's been rare that uh, we, we've really differed in opinion, although we don't always agree when it comes down to decisions for the club. Uh, we generally come to the same conclusion, maybe in a different way, um, but uh, it's working out well. So we're going to keep that work and relationship the same, and hopefully we build on that and uh, become more successful as a coaching team this year. Um, because um, I was on the bench and I was able to make all the calls, um, he didn't have to worry about the overall aspect of the game. So what it allowed him to do was to be out there and play. And Danny's strengths are he works his ass off. Um, he, he's... Um, we can use him in a number of positions, so we can use him wherever we need him. Um, a heck of a penalty killer for us. And uh, so he was able to go out there and lay everything out on the line, uh, just like the rest of the players did. Um, and then when, you know, he, he, he quite likes looking at a lot of game tape, um, so we break things down during the week. And that's when he can pick up things that maybe he wouldn't see 
while he's playing so hard and, and we can discuss him throughout the week. So I think that the fact that we had uh, myself on the bench um, was a positive thing for his game and he didn't have a million and two things running through his mind, which is a relief for any coach uh, because, you know, towards the end of games you do get mentally tired and it's tough to make decisions. Um, so, if, you know, when we were both playing, uh, maybe we wouldn't make the same call and, and, and occasionally there'd be a slight mix-up and stuff. So this year there was a structure in place and it, and it worked well. First of all, I think it's very important uh, that we retain a, a core this year. Um, what uh, I'm sure people notice that for the last three seasons, um, it's been virtually a whole new squad every year. Um, you, you know, the first year we were understaffed and we were just, I've used this term a number of times, we were just kind of dipping our toe in the water and we needed to get our local guys up to speed as well. Um, which resulted in the second year um, having a whole new squad. We got off to a great start, um, but weren't uh, weren't very consistent between our home and road games. Uh, but we made the playoffs, and that was that was pretty exciting in your second year as a club because there's been clubs in this league that rarely make the playoffs year in year out and, and struggle. So that was a successful season for us. Coming into this third year, um, we retained the, the services of just a couple guys. Um, so it was virtually a new-look squad again, and on paper it looked great. Um, we were very confident and, and got off to a very difficult and slow start. We had a tough schedule as well, but uh, um, we just weren't playing up to potential. Um, but just in the new year, um, we flicked the switch. Things turned around. We, uh, we became a tight group, um, and uh, that transferred out onto the ice. And we went on an, uh, an amazing run. Certainly for a club in its third year in the Elite League, uh, playing at that high level, we went on a great, tremendous run. Made the playoffs, um, beat the division champions in, in the two-legged affair and, and got our ticket to Nottingham and, and gave a good account of ourselves there as well. Um, you know, we didn't have a lot of one nothing games against any teams this year, never mind the, the team who won the league by 28 points or whatever it was. Um, so in, a third, for, in our third year, to get that far and to have that successful run with a brand new team again um, says a lot. Um, so if we can retain a, a core of five, six of these guys or whatever, whatever we can get back, um, I think that will translate into uh, hopefully um, success right from the start of the season. Uh, if, we, if, if a few positions need to be changed, um, we would like them to be upgrades. And, um, and and just build this team now around a number of players returning. Um, my discussions with the players at the end of the season <clears throat> sat down and gave them a, a recap of, the, uh, of, of how we thought their season went and, and what they thought, and certainly put uh, got, got them to put their cards on the table as well as ours as far as where, where as players, are, what, what their interests were and what their plans were. Um, and I think that winning does a, does a lot for a team. Um, because all of a sudden we didn't have guys running out of town an hour after the, f the season uh, finished. They, uh, they stuck around for a couple weeks, they hung out together, uh, and it just shows um, uh, how close of a group they were, and, and winning does that. So if we can build on that and get a bunch of these guys back, I'd be thrilled. How confident are you of, maybe, of getting maybe five or six back? Well, I mean, we were confident last year. And uh, that didn't work out. A lot of guys were retiring and, and stuff like that. I don't think we have that same position. I know some of these guys will be targets for other teams in the league. They certainly made waves. And there's other avenues in Europe that, that guys decide to take. And, and you can't hold them. All we can do is, is show what a desirable place Fife is to play. How well that the guys get treated. Um, and, and I think that... Our progression through the last three years has showed the club's ambitions as well. Um, if we're consistently, you know, on the bubble of not making the playoffs and and not um, not performing well, um, you know, it, it, people do their research on teams now. So if a, if a player thinks, well, let's take a look at what Fife's done in the last couple of years, and they see tenth place, ninth place, tenth place, uh, it doesn't become a desirable place to come. But now all of a sudden with the success, absolutely we'd like some of these guys to come back. But it maybe attracts a whole another breed of player. And, um, and and there's lots of options out there. You know, people tend to 
to cling on to just the, their favorites and, and what they want. But uh, it's it's awfully easy to forget that there's uh, there's thousands of guys out there that 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 want to play hockey, that love playing hockey, and are great hockey players. Um, so now it's up to myself and Danny to uh, to find that right mix and, and to bring back the people that we think will uh, advance the club even further. It's always funny because you know every year that we've come into the league, I've uh, been asked to make predictions, and this year um, I'm going to try to avoid making as much prediction as possible because. Last year when we looked at our team on paper and we're like, yeah, we're going to be challenging for all the silverware and everything like that. We really didn't come to fruition until, you know, the start of February. Um, but I think the goals then of the club will be this. Um, we've proved that we could play uh, on a consistent basis and compete with, uh, if you want to call them the big budget teams. Um, and I think that because Dundee did so well, and the likes of us did so well. Hull had their most successful season ever. Um, I think those guys are only going to up the ante. Um, and we got to be realistic that you were a smaller market club, um, but that doesn't mean that we roll over to these guys. I think that um, you just have to be more creative in the way you approach the game, more creative in the way that you recruit, and uh, and I think we've shown that we can do that. I mean, they'll. Some teams, you'll hear that they have absolutely no limits on their budget. Well, we do have a budget, and we have to stick by a budget. Um, it certainly helps when uh, we perform like we did at the end of the season and you can't get a seat in the building. We're, I've always said we're a gate-based club. Um, so if if we can win games, keep this building full, it, it makes easy life easier on ourselves. Um, but a goal is, is certainly to compete night in, night out. We've shown we can do that. And I think that uh, if we do that, you're always going to give yourself a great chance at any of the silverware going, whether it be the division, the Challenge Cup, the league, or even the playoffs. But I, th I think we have to really just focus on winning right off the bat. Uh, it helps if you have a core back, and then they show a couple new guys the way it goes. Pardon me. Um, and it allows you to get off to a good start. So uh, if all these things fall into place, I think the future for the Flyers is, is bright next year. We've announced Danny and I very early. That's early for this club. But I think that uh, on the back of our success, um, people want to know what's going on. Um, you know, we've always wanted to make sure that we've had signed contracts in our hand and uh, players are 100% committed because there's nothing worse than announcing a player back um, and then he drags his heels and then we have to make another announcement that no he's decided to go to other things so I think what we'll find this season as soon as we get guys committed and, and we have everything in place we'll be releasing it throughout the summer hopefully that's the plan um, and that starts with you know uh, putting a release out about the coaches um, I think the first first step is to remain in constant communication with our existing uh, group from last year, find out exactly where we sit with, with, with both parties and, uh, and see what positions we get back um, and then you can start building around that. And that's, you know, I mean, that's through contacts back in North America, agents, the guys in the team, um, you have sources from all over the place. Um, but hopefully it'll be a little little less arduous summer because um, if we do get a, a number of guys back uh, we're just looking for specific positions rather than a, than a whole squad and um, uh, put that all into place and that, that that's ongoing right to the to the first game of the season sometimes it falls into place quickly sometimes guys wait around to see what options they have so that'll be there'll be a lot of phone calls and a lot of late night uh, emails and everything getting thrown about but uh, that, that's your summer um, and then uh, it'll depends when these guys decide to put the ice in. I know they did a couple weeks early last year. Gave us a chance to um, uh, get the local guys skating. I know some guys skate in the summer back home. Um, and then as soon as that happens, we can get the team in. Uh, hopefully they have a, a few exhibition games set up for us. Um, you know, yeah, I think that's been very helpful over the, the, the last couple seasons is, is getting the rust off and getting guys used to each other and then we fly into our Challenge Cup games in, in the start of our league right off the bat. So we want to come in flying and be ready 
And uh, you saw how successful a start uh, Dundee had last year. They maybe didn't have the greatest finish, but because they had the points in the bag already, um, teams were going to be chasing them all season, and uh, they just weren't caught. I mean, teams, Brayhead started playing really well. We, we really turned it on. Um, I mean, even Hull was chasing after them as well, you know. So we were all chasing them all year because of that great start they got. So I think that's important uh, to come out of the blocks, and it, it, it certainly helps when you have the points in the bag.